all of you come to page number 60 section c we have already done section a and section b so come to section c now question number one two nine okay they are basically theory so you do it today as your homework let's start with the 11th one now state the following res result for two independent events a and b now over here a and b are independent events it means p of a intersection b is equal to p of a into p of b then p of a complement intersection b complement is p of a complement into p of b complement p of a intersection b complement is p of a into p of b complement and p of a complement intersection b is p of a complement into p of b next well p of a is 1 by 3 p of b is 2 by 3 p of a intersection b is equal to 1 by 6 we have to find p of a complement intersection b complement now over here first we have to decide which formula we are going to use so the formula is we'll use 1 minus p of a union b now we have p of a intersection b p of p of a and p of b so we find first p of a union b now how do we do that over here p of a union b is equal to p of a plus p of b minus p of a intersection b so a union b is equal to p of a p of a is 1 by 3 p of b is 2 by 3 and p of a intersection b is minus 1 by 6 so which is equal to 3 2 za 3 2 za 2 2 za 4 minus 1 upon 6 which is equal to 5 by 6 now we have got p of a union b so p of a complement intersection b complement is equal to 1 minus p of a union b which is equal to 1 minus 5 by 6 which is equal to 1 by 6 answer let's proceed with the next one now now 13 p of b is equal to 2 into p of a given b which is equal to 0 0.4 then find p of a intersection b so let me first write the question question number 13 p of b is equal to 2p of a given b is equal to 0 0.4 we have to find p of a intersection b now p of b is equal to 2p of a given b which is 0 0.4 therefore p of b is equal to 0 0.4 and p of a given b is equal to 2 here divide ho jayega so 
0.42 से डिवाइड हो जाएगा तो 0.2 देयरफॉर p ऑफ a गिवन b इज इक्वल टू p ऑफ a इंटरसेक्शन b अपॉन p ऑफ b क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई देयरफॉर p ऑफ a इंटरसेक्शन b इज इक्वल टू p ऑफ a गिवन b 0.2 into 0.4 which is equal to 0.08 answer question number 14 now over your if the events a and b are independent and 2 is and 3 p of a is equal to 2 p of b is equal to 0.12 then find p of a intersection b now since they are independent events we know p a intersection b is equal to p of a into p of b so we have to find it now very simple 14 Three p of a is equal to two p of b, which is equal to zero point one two. Now, this is equal to this is equal to this. So therefore, three p of a is equal to zero point one two. therefore p of a is equal to kar lo lc pe 0.12 divide by 3 which is 0.04 and 2 p of b is equal to 0.12 therefore p of b is equal to 0.12 divide by 2 0.06 now we have to find p of a intersection b is equal to p of a into p of b a and b are independent events so which is equal to 0.04 into 0.06 which is equal to 0.0024 and correct it please now question number 15 if 5p of a is equal to 3p of b is equal to 2p of a union b is equal to 3 by 2 for two events a and b then find p of a complement union b complement now which is equal to what 1 minus p of a intersection b so question number 15 we have to first find out p of a p of b based on that we find out p of a intersection b using law of addition and then we go for this answer now 5 p of a is equal to 3 p of b is equal to 2 p of a union b is 3 by 2 so we say this 5 p of a is equal to 3 by 2 therefore p of a is equal to 3 upon 5 twos are 10 so we get p of a then 3 p of b is equal to 3 by 2 so p of b is equal to 3 to the 6 which is equal to 1 by 2 and 2 p of a union b is equal to 3 by 2 so p of a union b 
is equal to 3 by 2 twos are 4. Now we have this. Now we write the equation P of A union B is equal to P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. Now we have to find this. So I transfer it to left hand side. So P of A intersection B is equal to P of A 3 by 10 plus P of B 1 by 2 minus P of A union B 3 by 4. Now solve this. 20 we take as LCM. So 3 2's are 6. So 6 plus 10 into 1 is 10 minus 4 5's are so 15 upon 20. which is equal to 1 by 20. Therefore, P of A complement union B complement is equal to P of A intersection B the whole complement, which is 1 minus P of A intersection B, which is equal to 1 minus 1 by 20, which is 19 by 20. Question number 16. Now, if P of A intersection B is 0 0.12 and P of B is equal to 0 0.3 for two independent events A and B, find P of A union B. Now, since they are independent events, I'll write over here A and B are independent events. So P of A intersection B is equal to P of A into P of B. So 0 0.12 is equal to P of A into 0 0.3. Therefore P of A is equal to 0 0.12 by 0 0.3 which is equal to do it on the Kelsey 0 0.4 so now we all have P of A P of B now we have to find P of A union B which is equal to P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B which is equal to 0 0.4 plus 0 0.3 minus 0 0.12 which is 0 0.7 minus 0 0.12 is equal to 0 0.58 answer Now over here in 17, if A is equal to X, where X is greater than 1, less than 3, and B is equal to X, where X is greater than equal to half, and less than 2, we have to find A union B and A intersection B. Now A is equal to always write the question first, X, where X is greater than 1, less than 3. This is how we have to read this and B 
is equal to x where x is greater than equal to half less than 2. So now I'll draw diagram for A. A is 1 up to 3. So neither 1 nor 3. And B is equal to half up to 2 but not 2. Now first we have to find out A union B. So A union B means from your till your so which is equal to x where x is greater than equal to half less than 3 and then a intersection B is we have to take what is common so common is from your till here this area this is A intersection B so A intersection B is equal to X where X is greater than 1 less than 2 Now, question number 18. The probability of a occurrence of at least one of the two events A and B is 1 by 4. The probability of that event A occurs but event B does not occur is 1 by 5. Find the probability of event B. So first let's write what is given probability of occurrence of at least one of the two events so p of a union b is equal to 1 by 4 and probability that a occurs but b does not occur difference event is 1 by 5 we have to find probability of event b now let's write for the equation p of a union b is p of a plus p of b minus p of a intersection b is equal to 1 by 4 and p of a minus b is equal to p of a minus p of a intersection b is equal to 1 by 5. So I have now two equations with me. So I'll write it over here now once again. P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B is equal to 1 by 4. And P of A minus P of A intersection B is equal to 1 by 5. Now what I will do is, I will substitute this equation over here because I already have P of A minus P of A intersection B. So I will rewrite this. P of A minus P of A intersection B plus P of B is equal to 1 by 4. Now this is 1 by 5. So 1 by 5 plus P of B is equal to 1 by 4. So I change the sides. So P of B is equal to 1 by 4 minus 1 by 5. So which is 0 0.25 minus 0 0.2. So cross multiply so it is 1 by 20 answer
Uh, now uh, this sum alternatively you can do it this way you already have two equation this one as well as this one so what we can do is we solve them how we change the sign this becomes minus this becomes plus this becomes minus so cancel cancel so p of b is equal to 1 by 4 minus 1 by 5 which is equal to 1 by 20. Alternatively you can solve it this way also. Understood this? You may write this as well. Now, over here, P of B, 19 sum is 3 by 5. And P of A complement, intersection B is equal to 1 by 2. We have to find P of A given B, which is equal to what? P of A intersection B upon p of b now we have p of b we have to find out p of a intersection b now this over here is difference even p of b minus a which is equal to p of b minus p of a complement b so which is 1 by 2 is equal to 3 by 5 minus p of a intersection b so therefore p of a intersection b is equal to yeah jayega left hand side yeah jayega right hand side 3 by 5 minus 1 by 2 is 0 0.6 minus 0 0.5 0 0.1 so it is 1 by 10 now you have p of a intersection b you have p of b so p of a given b is equal to 1 by 10 upon P of B is 3 by 5, which is equal to 5 ajayega upar, 10 chala jayega niche. And 3 will remain as it is, which is 5 by 30 is equal to 1 by 6. And so. Question number 20. Now, six persons have passport in a group of 10 people. If three persons are randomly selected from this group, find the probability that all the three have a passport and second two persons among them do not have a passport. So first let's find out n. n is equal to there are 10 people out of that we have to select 3 which is 10 c3 so 10 into 9 into 8 upon 3 into 2 into 1 find out how much 120 which is equal to 120 now first all three person I have passport. We take this as event A. So M is equal to now six person have passport. Usme se three should have a passport. So six C three is equal to six into five into four upon three into two into one, which is equal to twenty. So P of A is equal to M upon N, which is equal to 20 by 120, which is 1 by 6. Second, two portions. So we take event B, denote two portion 
among them. do not have passport now in this case okay there are total 10 people six have passport and four don't have a passport so no passport okay all right np so two among them do not have a passport so 4c2 Into six C one because three are to be selected. So four C two is four into two into three upon two into one into six, which is equal to forty six. Therefore, P of B is equal to M upon N, which is equal to thirty six by one twenty, which is three by ten, and so. Question number twenty-one: The probability that tax limit for income of men increases in budget of a year is zero point six six, and the probability that the tax limit increase for income of females, okay, of males and males, okay, there's a printing mistake over here, of males. increases in the budget of the year is 0.66 and the probability that the tax limit increase on income of female is 0.72 the probability that the tax limit increases for income of both male and female is 0.47 we have to find the probability that first tax limit increases for income of only one of two male and female so मेल का इंक्रीज होगा तो फीमेल का इंक्रीज नहीं होगा फीमेल का इंक्रीज होगा तो मेल का इंक्रीज नहीं होगा सो योर वी विल यूज डिफरेंस इवन एंड सेकंड टैक्स लिमिट डज नॉट इंक्रीज फॉर इनकम ऑफ मेल्स एज वेल एज फीमेल्स इन द बजट ऑफ दैट ईयर सो इट डज नॉट इंक्रीज फॉर मेल नॉट इट इंक्रीजेस फॉर फीमेल नॉट इट इंक्रीजेस फॉर बोथ सो ओवर यू we take p of a which is given which is 0.66 as what as probability of tax limit increase of mail then we take p of b which is given 0.72 as probability of tax limit increase of female and probability of a intersection b is equal to 0.47 which is probability of tax limit increase of both male and female now here we also find out p of a union b it will be useful when we go for the second one which is equal to p of a plus p of b minus p of a intersection b which is equal to 0.66 plus 0.72 minus 0.47 which is equal to 0.91 so we have all the measures now with us first one tax limit increases for income of only one of the two so increase 
tax increase of male but not female or tax increase of female but not male so this we take as difference event p of a minus b plus p of b minus a now how do we do this p of a minus p of a intersection b plus p of b minus p of a intersection b so p of a is 0.66 minus 0.47 plus 0.6 0.72 minus 0.47 which is equal to 0.19 plus 0.25 is equal to 0.44 second one we do not want for male as well as female so probability of a complement intersection b complement is probability of a union b complement which is 1 minus probability of a union b i am writing in short okay so we can cover up more sums so 1 minus but when you do it as your homework you have to write all the description minus we already found out 0 0.19 0, 0 0.91 sorry so which is equal to 0 0.09 and so. important sum for example 